There seems to be a lot of land in Lincolnshire being bought up at the moment, going for quite high prices. What kind of impact is that happen having on your business? It's very difficult, obviously. The only way you can, I think, go forward in, in years to come is to expand, is to keep your costs down, is to expand and farm on a bigger scale. But you're quite right with the amount of land that is being bought at the moment in Lincolnshire at the high prices that's been paid for, if you have to buy uh, or borrow the money from the bank and borrow all that money to buy land at eight, ten thousand pounds an acre and beyond, it's an absolute non-starter because you cannot fund uh, buying land and cannot fund that sort of money uh, lending purely out of farming today with the costs we have, the increased input costs um, and the cost production. So it, the only way really is to let these people who have money to invest is to buy land but then hopefully we go to them and say, right, we are the, have the expertise in getting the most from that land. We'll grow that crop, grow the crops and manage that land for you. Is that something you're looking at doing? Yes, I'll quite happily look at, look at that. You know, that is a good way of expanding um, and, and getting more, more acres under your belt. Do you think it's unfair or do you think it's just the way of the world, people from outside agriculture investing in, in farmland? I think it's, they have realised that, that there is no um, other way, they are looking at investing their own money, they've got money that they have to invest for tax reasons, to so save paying tax, and obviously uh, the way that the land prices are going at the minute, uh, the world has to be fed, these people realise that, and they also realise that there is no more land being made, you know, we are losing acres every day all over the world. And these investors realise that, and so obviously, next to gold, you know, land is a, is a very, very good way of, uh, of putting your money and investing. So that yeah, they realise that. And I guess it's a vote of confidence in, in UK agriculture as well. It is. It's definitely a vote of confidence, and and uh, and it, I think it shows the professionalism of uh, of agriculture, really. And I think um, it just shows that the level of, uh, of inputs and the level of professionalism that UK agriculture has, has come to, that these people are willing to invest in farming.